The Meteor, active, radar-guided, beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile, developed and manufactured by MBDA, is the result of a collaboration between six nations, namely the United Kingdom, Sweden, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. They have all come together with a common goal of countering present and future threats and aim to provide access to technology and expertise across Europe. The Meteor missile is a game-changer due to its supreme standoff ranges and exceptional kinematic performance, making it capable of striking with pinpoint precision from beyond the horizon. Soldiers can now have the strategic advantage they need in stressful situations, and its advanced radar-guided system enables autonomous engagement of air targets, day or night, in all weather conditions, and even in harsh electronic warfare environments. Furthermore, the missile's ramjet propulsion allows it to move at high speeds and optimal thrust, enabling it to destroy fast-moving targets at long ranges. Plus, its high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead makes it highly effective against a wide variety of target types. The cutting-edge weapon excels in technology, performance, and precision, and represents a game-changer in the world of military technology. Politics. The history of the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air to Air Missile, or BBRAM, dates back to the early 1990s when the UK government requested a replacement for the aging BAE Dynamic Sky Flash missiles that could equip the promising Eurofighter by 2000. The requirement specifically called for a missile capable of, quote, stealthy launch, enhanced kinematics which will provide the missile with sufficient energy to chase and destroy a highly agile maneuvering target, robust performance in countermeasures, and the ability for the launch aircraft to fire and disengage at the earliest opportunity, thus enhancing aircraft's survivability. Notably, the missile would need to counterbalance the emerging Russian ramjet-powered R-77 missile and target a range of threats, ranging from cruise missiles to unmanned aerial vehicles. In June 1995, a formal competition was launched to create the future medium-range air-to-air missile, or FM-RAM, with four different companies proposing variations on passive radar, active radar, and passive infrared seekers. However, the urgency did not simplify the process, as the development devolved into a politically charged endeavor involving various companies and technologies. Moreover, when the US-backed Hughes Consortium, including Shorts, Matra Thompson Tom, Aerospatiale, and FOCA called their missile the FV RAM. The RAF had to rename the requirement from FV RAM to BV RAM. One particular issue in the new development was the missile's range, as the Russian R 77 missile required a longer range, ECM resistance, and extreme agility at range. Eventually, the competition developed into a fight between the US offering and the upcoming European proposal. By February 1996, the European effort remained fragmented, but BAE Dynamics rose to the occasion, leading a European team consisting of seven companies. Finally, after going through a round of intense negotiations and deal-making, the British firm managed to create a credible European alternative to the Hughes bid. Strong Feelings BAE adopted a two-concept approach, known as S-225X and S-225XR, consisting of an active radar seeker, followed by a dual-mode radar infrared seeker. Ultimately, the competition boiled down to a simple choice between the Hughes and BAE teams, each leading an assortment of European defense firms. The original plan was to award a contract in 1997 to have the new missile enter service by 2000. However, after a year of identifying potential risks and fine-tuning their respective designs, both teams submitted their final proposals in 1998. Meanwhile, the U.S. also submitted a proposal for the AIM-120B AMRAM missile. If chosen, the development in Europe would likely be adopted by Germany, Italy, Sweden, and France. In July of that year, the governments of the UK, Germany, Italy, Sweden, and Spain signed a formal statement of intent, agreeing to work towards joint procurement of the same missile, subject to the UK's selection of Meteor. Nevertheless, by fall, Raytheon supplied the UK with estimated costs for the AIM-120B AMRAMs, 
suggesting they be used as an interim weapon, while BB RAM was still in development. This was undeniably cheaper than the American approach, which further delayed the decision. A year later, US President Bill Clinton addressed the Prime Minister in a letter, urging him to acquire Raytheon's missile, quote, I believe transatlantic defense industry cooperation is essential to ensuring the continued interoperability of allied armed forces. As the political stakes rose higher, both the US and European teams proposed staged approaches to meeting the full missile requirement. However, the pressure of the US president's direct intervention lingered, with his underlined words emphasizing his strong feelings on the matter. Modern Air-to-Air -air Combat France's entrance into the program added pressure on the UK to use the BB RAM as a means to consolidate the European guided weapons industry. Soon after, Meteor emerged as the winner of the bid. As a state-of-the-art system, the Meteor was designed to modernize air-to-air -air combat in the 21st century. Equipped with an advanced active radar seeker, the missile can engage a wide range of targets in any weather conditions. According to the manufacturer, it can fulfill the most stringent of requirements and operate in the most challenging clutter and countermeasure environments. On the other hand, the weapon offers three to six times the kinetic performance of current air-to-air -air missiles of its type and boasts a two-way data link that allows the launch aircraft to provide mid-course target updates or retargeting, including data from off-board third parties. The data link can also transmit missile information, such as functional and kinematic status, information about multiple targets, and notification of target acquisition by the seeker. Notably, the missile's unique ramjet propulsion system employs a solid fuel, variable flow ducted rocket that provides thrust all the way to the target intercept, resulting in the largest no escape zone of any air to air missile. Plus, its ramjet air breathing engine enables the missile to adjust its velocity based on its target's maneuvers. With a combat range of 124 miles and a length of approximately 12 feet, Meteor weighs around 397 pounds. The new missile has nearly the same dimensions as the AMRAM, allowing it to be easily mounted onto existing weapon stations by simply replacing the missile eject launcher. Moreover, the missile has both impact and proximity fuses, as well as a fragmentation warhead that detonates on impact or at the optimum point of intercept, ensuring total target destruction. Meteor also offers a multi-shot capacity, enabling multiple launches against various targets. Precisely for this. In 2001, MBDA was founded after Matra, BAE Dynamics, and Alenia joined forces. The Paris Air Show marked the occasion, and France, Sweden, and the UK signed a memorandum of understanding committing to the Meteor program. Although deliveries were expected to begin in 2005, the Meteor did not enter service until 2016. The missile was first adopted by the Swedish Air Force in April and achieved initial operating capability three months later. Alongside the Eurofighter, the weapon also arms the French Air Force and Navy's Dassault Rafale. Evidently, they have also been incorporated into the German, Italian, and Spanish Air Forces, and it is believed that Meteor will also equip British and Italian F-35 Lightning tubes. As recently as 2021, the German Air Force completed flight tests for its newest air-to-air -air missile and deemed the weapon ready for use. An anonymous test pilot from the Luftwaffe explained, quote, Imagine you are driving your car with a roof rack attached. You will first notice that the air resistance increases, and with it the consumption of your car. And we calculated exactly such consumption values in advance, in simulations with our mission planning software, and checked them with the flight tests. As noted by the source, the Meteor's beyond visual range capabilities give Eurofighter pilots a significant tactical advantage by enabling them to engage targets that are not visible to the naked eye. The pilot concluded, quote, It was precisely for this ability that Meteor was procured. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to join the Dark Tech community and explore the rest of our fascinating Dark Documentaries channels where we delve into the complexities of modern armed conflicts and the ongoing global arms race. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest content.